know he used to shove it. Man! Shove it, squad, I'm back. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last couple of weeks, or unless someone smacked you in the gut or hit you with a brick, you'd have noticed that I got banned from YouTube. It wasn't for copyright, just to be clear, I don't want to hear you saying that in the comments section, you know it all, you nerds. I don't want to dwell on it too much because it really has been stressful, I'm not even joking, I'm just glad to be back. The point is that the ban was overturned thanks to you guys, the Shove It Squad. You eventually made enough noise and the YouTube bosses listened to you. You told them, let the hawk talk. It's partly my fault for not bothering to build up a social media presence, but that needs to change in case this ever happens again. So please add me on Insta, markyd123 underscore YT, and on Twitter, markyd123 YT. That way, next time our voice will get attention a lot quicker. I've already thanked the individuals who went above and beyond for the squad privately, but I will just leave it with this. Please check out Top 10 Wrestling, V and Fuso, and Wrestle Planet on YouTube if you haven't already. These are channels that help me out big time. I've actually released two videos whilst all this has been going on, but honestly, I just don't want them being on YouTube because I wasn't at my best, and they just remind me of the negativity I was facing at the time. I don't need that anymore. The good times are here to stay. So is the Hawk. So is Slap Nuts. So is the Stoner Friend. I don't care if they drive you round the bend. Today's video was requested by Alex Marquis over on Patreon. If you want to make the Hawk talk, sign up on Patreon today. And of course, if you know a wrestler who can do the J-O-B to the H-A-W-K any night, any day, shove their name in the comments, Jack. All right, all right, hardcore hack. Was he good on the crack or should he get a smack? Hack was originally put in WCW to be part of a weird new Raven storyline. Raven had got a bit boring in WCW, so they were trying something new. The storyline was quickly dropped and instead we got something completely different. On today's Ring of the Hawk episode, we start out watching a match with Van Hammer and Kenny Chaos, so it's not exactly starting well. As soon as the match ends, Sandman attacks with a kendo stick, looking like a complete idiot being wrapped in barbed wire. The commentary team say they don't know who this man is. Sandman starts bragging about all the times he's used barbed wire in wrestling matches as proof of how hardcore he is. He calls out Bam Bam Bagalo. Not sure why he said it that way. Match 1, Nitro, the Sandman versus Bam Bam Bagalo. Sandman immediately attacks with his kendo stick. Somehow the barbed wire has disappeared from his body though. Sandman baseball slides him out of the ring. He tries to dive onto the big man who catches him and shunts him into the ring post. Bagalo grabs a steel chair and smashes it onto Sandman and the chair gets stuck across his head. It's a slow clunky match. Sandman turns it around with a clothesline and follows it with a bulldog. The Sandman then grabs barbed wire from the corner and he wraps it around the turnbuckle. It's not over yet though as Sandman comes into the ring with a guillotine leg drop. Bagalo turns it around by hitting a DDT on the steel chair. Then Bagalo throws him into the corner and immediately follows it up by squashing him in the corner. It should be all over but Bagalo hits a diving headbutt from the top. He still doesn't want it to end though as he hits the greetings from Asbury Park on the chair. It's over. He couldn't have really been beaten any more decisively than that could he? What a way to debut. Why did they have him get beaten so easily? I don't know where he's supposed to go from here. His performance is a D. The Bagalow offence at the end of the match made the match feel better than it was. Match 2, WCW Thunder, the opener. The Sandman who's now been given the name of Hack. So I'm going to have to call him Hack for the rest of this video. His entrance isn't exactly as exciting as it was in ECW. He has a microphone and declares that all of his matches will now have no rules. So it's a Raven ripoff then, is it? He's taking on Damien, a blue man with greasy long hair. Damien beats Hack up whilst he's covered in barbed wire. He drop kicks Hack and sends him to the outside. Damien then dives over the top onto Hack. It's not looking good for hardcore Hack here as Damien throws him into the barrier. Back in the ring, Damien hits a botched moonsault to give Hack a chance. He hits a suplex onto the ropes and a guillotine leg drop for a two. They then go outside again and Hack puts him on the barrier and scores another guillotine leg drop. Pretty sick that one. They get in the ring and Hack drop kicks a chair into Damien whilst he's in the tree of woe. Damien tries some high flying, but Hack hits him off the ropes with his cane. Damien manages to get the cane and he starts using it to his advantage. Suddenly Hack gets the cane back and hits a Russian leg sweep with the cane and it's a free. Never seen that one before, it was fine. In fact, I actually quite enjoyed it. I enjoyed the clash of styles mostly, it's a B. Match 3, Thunder, Barbarian accompanied by Jimmy Hart versus Hack who's wearing those trousers that are in fashion with girls right now. <laughs> this guy was truly ahead of the times. Or maybe they're chef's trousers, I don't know, smack me in the gut if you don't like it. I'm not sure why he doesn't have any entrance music. 
Strangely, Hack starts off working on Barbarian's arm until he makes the ropes. Barbarian then starts brawling and rips the Sandman's shirt off. Barbarian misses a dive from the top and Hack lands on top of him with a leg drop. Hack tries the 10 punches in the corner, but Barbarian hits a weak looking powerbomb. Suddenly, Jimmy Hart appears on the ring apron. I'm not sure why, because his man was winning. For some reason, he throws the kendo stick into the ring, but Hack gets it, and then he jabs Barbarian in the throat and hits the Russian leg sweep. Game over. An awkward, strange ending. Why did Jimmy Hart get off the apron when his man was about oh, to leave? Man. It's an S. Ugly and bad. Just like your dad. Match 4, Nitro. Fools count anywhere. Raven and Hack are just shoved in the ring. They have a super quick hug though, and then they attack each other. Raven batters Hack with a stick, but then Hack turns it around as they head to the outside. He hits the guillotine leg drop across the crowd barrier. This is a fast moving match, and seconds later Raven suplexes Hack on the ramp. Raven then brings out a table, the crowd are going crazy for this match. Raven then quickly dives off the Titan Tron putting Hack through the table. The fans chant ECW. Bigelow then lumbers out, and he starts fighting both men. The match is then thrown out. It's a shame because it was going really well. It's a B for what I saw so far, and it sets up the next match nicely. Wait, hold on, hold your hawks. Apparently the bell shouldn't have sounded and the match will carry on, and now it's going to be a triple threat. Well, why didn't Bigelow just start the match if this was the plan? All three head backstage and Raven throws Hack into a ladder. Bigelow throws him to the floor and Raven throws a bin at him. This is a really hard hitting match. They keep slamming each other into an ambulance. They're going to need one at this rate. Hack ends up in a trash cart and they smash him into the ambulance. The hacker seems like the forgotten man in this match. It seems to be more about Raven and Bigelow. Bam Bam then throws him with a back body drop into a limo. Raven follows it up with an even flow onto the bonnet. This match is crazy. Raven gets Hack on the limo and again crushes his face into the windscreen as it crunches and cracks. Bigelow picks up Raven and throws him on top of Hack. Damn, all three men are brawling on the bonnet. This match is surprisingly lengthy. Oh, I spoke too soon. Apparently the match is over, it just sort of ends. I've no idea what happened. I don't know who won and I've no idea why. This was always the problem with WCW. It was so disorganised. I'm still giving this one an A though because it left me looking forward to the pay-per-view and it was just a great spectacle. Sometimes it's not all about wins and losses. Match 5, Uncensored 99. Fools count anywhere, triple threat. Bam Bam Bigelow versus Hack, who now has music, versus Raven with his sister Chastity. Everyone immediately jumps Hack. Chastity brings a basket of weapons to the ring. Raven knocks Hack out with a trash can. He then follows up by playing the cymbals with the lids on Hack's head. Hack screams like someone has just punched him in the nutsack. Raven gives him the drop toe hold into the garbage. The ring's already a complete mess and we're only a few minutes in. Hack tries to get the advantage with an ironing board, but Raven tells him his clothes are too creased and throws it into him. Hack finally does something as he hits Bam Bam with a fan, and not the fat kind around the ringside. Everyone then dives onto Bam Bam's back, but they just kind of fall off of him. Hack suddenly hits a top rope hurricanrana out of nowhere on Raven, best move of the match so far. A table then ends up in the ring and Triple B powerbombs Hack onto it. The table doesn't break, so Bigelow splashes him through it. Sandman wants to cane Raven, but Chastity tries to stop him. Hack and Raven throw Bigelow onto a table and again it doesn't break. Give me a break. Raven hits the even flow DDT on Hack. He then decides to tape his arms up behind his back. Raven smashes him four times in the head, completely unprotected. They've forgotten about Bam Bam who hits the greetings from Asbury Park on Raven. No one's bothering to make pin attempts in this one. Chastity then sprays Bam Bam in the face of a fire extinguisher to send him through a table. This time it does break, third time's the charm. Chastity suddenly turns on Raven with a headbutt to the nutsack, and Hack makes the cover for the free. What an unusual strange ending. The match on Nitro is better unfortunately. This one was a C. I guess she's going to be Hack's manager then, at least he won. Hack then cuts a hilarious promo making fun of Goldberg. He says that he's proved he's the king of hardcore, and from now on we must refer to him as Hardcore Hack. Match 6, Nitro, Hardcore Hack with Chastity vs Goldberg. Hack jumps him straight away, but his punches aren't having any effect. Hack launches him out of the ring to stop his momentum. That won't last long though, because Goldberg hits a massive slam. He puts on an arm bar, but Hack makes the ropes. Hack then gets a chair and hits a running bulldog onto it. The hardcore one then starts whacking him with the cane, but no effect. Hack tries his Russian leg sweep finisher, but Goldberg just shrugs him off. A huge Goldberg slam, and then a spear, and you know what's next, jackhammer, one, two, three. It might have been a squash, but it was a competitive fun one to watch. I'm going to give it a C. Match 7, Thunder. Mikey Whitrep versus Hardcore Hack with Chastity. No hug for Mikey before his match, despite his ECW links. 
Mikey's only in his second WCW match here and he starts working on Hack's arm. Hack regroups and takes Mikey off his feet and sends him out to the floor. Chastity then attacks his eyelids. Mikey launches Hack upside down against the guardrail. He follows it with a Russian leg sweep against the guardrail, Raven style. Mikey comes back into the ring with a spinning back elbow from the top for a two. Hack gets him outside again and guillotine leg drops Mikey across the guardrail. Sandman then comes back into the ring by missing a leg drop. Mikey copies Hack with his own guillotine leg drop. I've never said the word guillotine so much in my life. I feel like I'm living in the medieval times. Mikey gets a chair and drop kicks it into Hack while he's in the tree of woe. Mikey tries to go high risk but pretty much misses. Hack then puts Mikey across the ropes and guess what he does? Guillotine leg drop. Hack puts a chair on Mikey's face and leg drops into the ring again. Why is this being used so much? Mikey tries to use the stick but Hack does a vicious Russian leg sweep with it and it's game over. Bam Bam jumps him after the match and hits his finisher. Greetings from Asbury Park. More good stuff really. Just calm it with the leg drops. It's a B. Match 8, Nitro, Kendo Stick Match, Kendall Wyndham vs Hardcore Hack with Chastity. Wyndham takes him down quickly with leg shots. Kendall then starts getting creative but Chastity interferes. Hack gets a chance to take control and tries to choke Kendall out with the stick. No dice though as Kendall fights it off. Both men have their hands on the stick but neither of them are letting go. So Kendall hits a neck breaker. He then gets a 2 on a leg drop. Hack hits a back body drop and poses on the outside of the ring. He's stupid and gets guillotine leg drop as he comes back in. Wyndham gets distracted by Chastity on the outside and Hack takes him out with a lariat. Back in the ring, Kendall almost wins with a roll-up. Hack then almost wins with one of his own. Hack hits a big time DDT and gets the cane again. He scores a knockout blow, but he doesn't cover him. Instead he hits his Russian leg sweep and this one's over. Decent again, it's a C. Match 9, Spring Stampede 1999. Hack with Chastity versus Bam Bam Bigelow. Bam Bam and Hack fight over the weapons cart straight away. They set up a table at the top of the arena. Hack dives off a stagecoach from the 1800s. Swanton Bomb through the table. Dude, I was watching the WCW show the other day, man. And this dude, the Sandman, he used my Swanton Bomb finish, man. But it didn't finish. Man, I'm going back to Carolina. And I'm going to tell my stoner friend Shannon, man. Bam Bam has a crutch and Hack might be needing one to walk after this match. Hack sets up a table across the guardrail and the ring apron. Bam Bam then drums a salad bowl onto Hack's head. Never seen that one before. Then there's a weird botch, not sure what they were looking for. Hack brings a ladder into the match. He drop kicks it into Bam Bam's face. He then climbs to the top and does another swanton bomb onto the ladder. Right, that's it, Sandman. Jeff Hardy's going to put you in the shove it zone if you do that again. No cover though and they continue to hit each other with weapons. Hack climbs up the ladder but Bam Bam jerks him off and sends him through the table on the outside. The crowd are going nuts for Bam Bam as he throws Hack into the ladder. He's not that hurt though and he tries to set Bam Bam up on the guardrail but he misses his leg drop. Chastity tries to get involved but the fire extinguisher just won't work. Bam Bam gets it working for her and sprays her in the face for her efforts. Hack uses the distraction to hit the Russian leg sweep onto the safety rail, still no cover. The match comes to a close as Bam Bam hits the greetings from Asbury Park off the top through a table. What a hardcore match to be fair. Aside from the fire extinguisher botch going wrong, it was a great hardcore match. I'm going to ignore that and give it an A. This run is really surprising me. It's a lot better than people said it would be. Almost 10 matches in and is honestly one of the most entertaining runs so far. Match 10, Thunder, Hugh Morris with Jimmy Hart versus Hardcore Hack with Chastity. Hugh Morris jumps Hack with the stick. Then he uses a trash can. Morris takes his eye off the ball and Hack hits him with the trash can lid. Hack then hits a running bulldog on a steel chair. Then he follows it up with the guillotine leg drop. He brings a couple of tables into the ring and he also brings a ladder. The ring is a complete state at this point. Morris hits a power slam and follows it up with the no laughing matter moonsault. No pin attempt is made though. Jimmy Hart then helps him set up two tables on top of each other. If I was him, I wouldn't let Jimmy Hart help him do anything. He caused a loss last time he tried to help. Chastity comes into the ring with a fire extinguisher, but this time it works. Hack and Morris climb up the ladder and Hack punches him through the tables. It wasn't worth the time and effort to set all of this up. It didn't even look impressive. Russian leg sweep and it's over. It tried to be really good, but it just wasn't. It's nothing better than a C. Match 11, Nitro. Brian Nobbs versus Hardcore Hack with Chastity. Nobbs jumps him straight away with a trash can. 
Nobs then puts it on his head and smashes into it. Ouch. Nobs takes Hack to Pity City and throws him out of the ring. It's a very boring match with two guys just wallowing around in the ring, occasionally hitting each other with weapons. Hack gives him a bulldog on the ladder, then he sets him up and tries a swanton bomb, but he misses and the table sort of breaks. What the hell is wrong with the tables in WCW? Nobs does the aeroplane spin with the ladder. He then grabs the kendo stick but chastity causes a distraction and Hack is able to hit a lethal trash can shot. Hack puts a chair on Nobs head and gives him a guillotine leg drop. He's looking for a real knockout but Bam Bam runs out and he smacks him one. Nobs dives on top with a trash can and this one's over. Hack was basically Bam Bam's bitch in WCW wasn't he? Didn't like this one, I'm giving him a D. Match 12, Nitro, 4 corners hardcore match, all 4 men are just shoved in the ring. Mikey Whipwreck, Brian Nobbs, Hack and Horace Hogan. What on earth is Horace Hogan in this match? The winner of this match will get to face Bam Bam for the title of King of Hardcore. I guess that's because the Hardcore title didn't exist at this point. Nobbs hits a splash onto Hack on the ladder, but it's only a two. Everyone is just taking turns to hit people with weapons, there's no rhyme or reason to anything. Brian Nobbs tries to put Hack in a barrel, but it doesn't go well. Chastity has a Winnie the Pooh bear on her back, I have no idea why. Hack helps Mikey Whipwreck take Nobbs out of a leg drop. Hack then gets whipped by Horace Hawken, but Chastity sprays him with a fire extinguisher. Hack tries to drive him through a table but misses and he falls through it himself. He's not hurt though because he's back in the ring putting Mikey on a table. Hack swanton bombs off the ladder and puts Mikey through the table. Nobbs takes him out straight away though, and Nobbs pins Mikey Whipwreck to win the match. This match is painful, it's a D. I do want to point out that we're actually getting promos from Hack which all count towards his final grade. It's not just match quality that we're interested in here. They aren't amazing promos, he just sounds crazy and kind of drunk. But at least he's having promos, unlike a lot of wrestlers on Ring of the Hawk. Unfortunately for him, he asks his girlfriend to pick his next opponent, and she chooses Big Sexy Kevin Nash. Match 13 Thunder, Hack with Chastity versus Kevin Nash. This is one match I thought I'd never expect to see on this show tonight. This would certainly be an upset if Hack could somehow win. Nash dodges the kendo stick and smashes him with the knee. Nash gets the kendo stick and uses it while Hack begs for a timeout. Nash pulls a funny pose with the stick. Nash destroys Hardcore Hack in the corner and he gathers the ladder. He's looking for a swanton bomb. I'm kidding you, I'm kidding you, he's not. He drops Hack back first onto the ladder. Big Sexy then sends Hack upside down into the ladder. Nash now has a table set up, but Hack keeps begging. Suddenly out of nowhere, Hack sends Nash through the table. Cover him, you idiot! Hack starts hitting him with the kendo stick instead. Still no cover. Now he stacks a ladder on top of Nash and slingshots into the ladder, but he looks like he completely missed it. They trade off stick shots. I can't believe I'm seeing Nash in this kind of environment. Hack puts the ladder on him again, even though it went badly last time. And Swanton Bomb on top of the ladder. Cover him, you goon! Oh my god, he does it. He's gonna win. But suddenly Nash kicks out at two. Chastity gets the fire extinguisher, but Nash reverses it and he picks up Hack and hits the jackknife powerbomb through the table. We're done, game over. What a surprisingly competitive match though. Apart from that slightly dodgy leg drop, it was a good solid match, I give it a C. It wouldn't surprise me if the reason Nash agreed to go through this match was because Hardcore Hack was probably partying with him after the matches. He seems like the sort. Match 14, Nitro. Hardcore Hack versus Bam Bam Bigelow. Now that's what you call a trailer of weapons. Hack gets annoyed waiting for all the weapons to come into the ring and tries to kick Bam Bam. He regrets it because Bam Bam tries to clean his mouth with a mop. Hack tries to choke Bam Bam with a rope but it doesn't work. Triple B takes him down with a drop kick. Hack then gets put through the table with a simple shove. Bam Bam puts him through another table but no one's making any covers. Hack finally hits a move with a bulldog on a ladder. This is all getting rather repetitive at this point. I thought he would have a storyline with Raven or something but there's been nothing which is strange considering his sister turned on him for Hack. Bigelow suplexes Hack from the top rope through two tables. At least that was something we haven't seen in this run. Brian Nobbs then walks out screaming and they all hit each other with weapons like complete idiots. It's not an S, I'm not completely unfair, but I can't take any more of these repetitive matches. This match is just thrown out. It's a D for don't make me have to watch this match again. Before the next one, Hack cuts a heel promo on the crowd, but he's interrupted by Fit Finley, who looks like he's been electrocuted. Hack sounds like he's been out partying all night. Match 15. <laughs> oh god. Match 15, Nitro. Hardcore Hack with Chastity versus Fit Finley. Finley attacks Hack with a kendo stick. Hack quickly turns it around by using his stick. 
Hack then goes outside and under the ring and gets a ladder. Ugh. Never thought I'd get tired of seeing a ladder. They completely killed this ladder gimmick. TNA would do the same thing after WCW. In WWF it felt like a big deal when a ladder was shoved in the ring. They would use it a bit rarer and it always had a big payoff. Finley throws Hack into the ladder and he goes upside down and almost does the splits. Well, it's the same match we've seen 14 times before this one. Even down to Brian Nobbs attacking everyone and the match getting thrown out. You know what, I'm getting pissed Shut off now, man. it's an S. Match 16, Nitro. Hack, who's finally had a haircut with Chastity versus Billy Kidman. Okay, that's random. At least it's going to be a different match then. Ugh. Tank Abbott walks out and cuts a promo trying to sound tough, but his voice sounds like someone squeezed his nutsack together. We've got a match going on here, but apparently it's not important at all. Billy Kidman hits a hurricanrana and dives onto Hack on the outside. Chastity gets on the ring apron with a chair. They send Kidman into it, and then he gets... Oh, this match is an S now. Oh, no more ladders or tables. None of it looks good. It's lost its effect 10 matches ago. All the spots are rushed and nobody cares anymore. And by the way, the match is thrown out again. If WCW was here right now, I'd smack them one. Next up, we've got the most interesting part of Hack's entire WCW run. Match 17, Nitro. Hack comes to the ring smoking his first cigarette in WCW of Chastity. That's not really the exciting bit. Not sure why they decided to include this part of his ECW gimmick now. I mean, there's copyright and all that, but you're deciding to do it now, so it must be okay. He's taking on Prince Iakea. The referee is annoyed that he keeps smoking. What is he, his mum? They refuse to start the match until he puts his smoke out. An old mould covered <laughs> comes out to tell him that WCW management have cut him a lot of slack and they have to draw the line here. Finally, something's happening with this run. Eric Bischoff then comes out and tells him to hurry up and smoke. I just keep finding these unusual wrestling segments, don't I? He blows smoke in Eric Bischoff's face and shoves him. Bischoff slaps him back but security stop Hack from attacking him. He tells them to let the match go ahead. Chastity sprays Prince Ikea with the fire extinguisher. Hack then gets, oh you stupid smoking blonde alcoholic goon. Why can't you just win a match normally? Hack hits a swan tom on the table, but it doesn't break. <laughs> then he tries to throw Prince Ikea into another table, and this one doesn't break either. <laughs> he just says screw it and covers him. The crowd are booing. Whatever this was meant to be, it's probably cancelled now. It's not his fault, but he should have just won the match in a more simple way. That Bischoff segment was an A by the way, and the match was an S, so I'll have to give it a middle of the road C. Match 18, WCW Great American Bash 1999. Kendo stick match. Oh, I don't want to watch it. It's Brian Nobbs with Jimmy Hart versus Hack with Chastity. So not only is it a match type we've seen a million times, but it's also two guys we've seen a million times in this video. Skip it and give it an S. Stop it! How about an abridged version, to be fair? How about no? Hack wins with a simple kendo stick shot. That's all you're getting. Then he gets hit with a spike power driver after the match. Good. Match 19. <sighs> Nitro. Hack with Chastity. The commentary team are insinuating that Chastity's been in pornos as they come out to the ring. He's taken on Rick Steiner who has a reverse Scott Steiner beard. Steiner hits Hack with a chair and drags him backstage. Rick throws him into about 50 barriers. Rick puts him on top of a jeep and he's throwing him onto the bonnet. Hack then starts randomly beating up a bike. I think he should focus on Rick, he's barely touched him. Hack gets thrown into an open car bonnet lid, which looked pretty cool. Steiner then chokes Hack out with a motorbike exhaust pipe. Somehow this one's still going. Oh, what's that? A ladder? It was oh, already going to be an S anyway, don't worry guys. Steiner slams him onto a roof and then he disappears through the roof. And then Sting emerges. <laughs> what the f***? He throws Steiner through the wall of a caravan. Hack has just disappeared, so I guess this one's over. Match 20, Nitro, Hack with Chastity who calls out Ric Flair. Instead he gets Bam Bam Bigelow. <laughs> Not quite the same thing, how boring. Hack actually hits a new move in this one, a jumping DDT. Hack hits a Russian leg sweep but DDP interferes and hits a diamond cutter and that's all she wrote. It's a D because we didn't use any ladders or a table in this one. Next up, Hack's given creative power to make a match involving all the hardcore wrestlers and it's going to be something completely new here. And boy, is this one to watch. Match 21, Bash at the Beach 1999, final match, junkyard match. It's a match in an actual junkyard with cars getting pushed over. How ironic because this match is complete rubbish and belongs in a junkyard. Public enemy are randomly here. Look at what we're watching here, this must have cost so much money to set up. They're shooting from a helicopter, nowadays you could just use a drone and it would be a lot cheaper. 
The biggest problem of all these unique matches that they tried doing in WCW is the lighting. Just like that Vampiro graveyard match, you can barely see anything. We're five minutes in and I haven't even seen our guy. This match is terrible, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Hack should have kept his mouth shut, this just wasn't a good idea. After 15 minutes, I found out that to win the match, all you have to do is leave. This place is huge, how hard could that be? I hate this match so much. I need to start documenting the worst matches I've ever seen during Ring of the Hawk. This match would certainly make that list. If they would have just had this match during the day, it would have improved it. There's no reason for it to be at night. Oh, so it looks cooler with the fire, I guess. Hack puts Finley in a boot as a forklift comes to take the car to the crusher, but Finley clearly escapes. We then have to sit and watch the car being crushed even though Finley clearly escaped. I would rather go to my local tip and watch cars being crushed for real. I could meet Stigger the Dump and punch him in the gut. Then there's an explosion and Finley escapes to win. Shut what a way man. for Hack to go out in WCW. So apparently his girlfriend Chastity was fired because it turned out that she was actually in a porno. Not sure if she was fired for that reason or not. Someone clarify that down below. Hack went back to ECW as part of cost cutting measures. Well that was a roller coaster ride. It started out brilliant and then it burnt me out. I'm not even sure if it burnt me out or if the spots and matches just got worse. Tell me what you think. We got 21 matches and lots of promos and entertainment to grade him on here. So let's do it. He clearly isn't a good wrestler, but for the first part of his run they hit it well. Promos were decent and he was entertaining. I wish I knew where that storyline with Bischoff was going. It seemed quite cool, it seemed like an Austin McMahon type of thing. In the end there were just too many S's in here and he's gonna have to finish on a D. If I had to watch any more than 21 of these matches I'd probably quit YouTube for real, and if you don't agree with that I'll beat you to your squill.